Have you been to Cappadocia in Turkey? It's a magical place with its magnificent landscapes, wonderful fairy chimneys, mesmerizing hot air balloons at sunrise, and much more. Watch this video to learn more about Cappadocia. Where to stay, what to do and see. Don't wait any longer. Add Cappadocia to your travel bucket list now. This is Tuzgulu. It's a salt lake. If you are going from Ankara to Goremi to Cappadocia, you must pass by this lake and check it. This should be turning pink at the sunset. But in fact, it's not pink now. It's just white. It's a so it's very salty. You can you see? But it looks like snow in fact. You walk all the way here from inside this building. And here we arrive to our hotel in Cappadocia. Come on, let's see it inside. Here is the reception. And this is our room. It has two doors two rooms for four people but we are only three <laughs> this is milano sleeping hi milano check out this nice room it's made of stone like the cave design cappadocia is famous for its cave or stone rooms you live a new experience big room and this is the bathroom Here's the terrace. <laughs> oh, check out this. Hopefully tomorrow we're going to see the balloons. If there is no rain and the wind is uh, less than 11 miles per second so we can see the balloons flying. Let us see what will happen tomorrow. There are some works. See, tavuk güveç or güveç in Turkish, and this is the tavuk şiş. This is still sizzling. And this is the bread. That is really nice. And you can hear in the background the Adam voice from the mosque. Here are the cedar trees with the fairy lights. It's lovely. The atmosphere is very nice here in Cappadocia. We are here in Goreme. Enjoying this complimentary watermelon. Don't forget to ask for the limonata or the lemonade when you come to Turkey or to Cappadocia or anywhere in Turkey. They make it amazingly. Also, ask for the chai, Good. their signature. Cheers. The most beautiful thing here in Goreme in uh, Cappadocia is to see the balloons in the morning. We woke up at 5 a.m. No, at 4 a.m. We prepared ourselves and the balloons started flying at 5 a.m. So come on, see how beautiful is this? This is once in a lifetime. See the balloons? See the people up? Watching the balloons? Gorgeous view in the morning. Seeing this fairy chimney and all the other fairy chimneys with the nice white background. This is the place where you see the people having the Instagram photos in this background in Goremi and Cappadocia. This is the love valley behind me. Here where people gather when they want to see the balloons because it's a nice area. There are some restaurants, cocktails, etc. And there are nice photo opportunities. 
and here is the valley with the rock formation we asked about the prices of the balloons first let me tell you something Natalie always laughs at me because I hate heights and I don't go or I don't rent a balloon I offered her to go into the balloon but now she has her baby she also refused <laughs> we asked about the prices of the balloons the balloon is between 150 and 200 US dollars per person I think if you bargain the price you can get better prices from uh, different suppliers so always ask your hotel and ask in the streets and you can make your Google search so you can find good people that are trustworthy from the reviews Our breakfast. They have just three balloons. We were lucky to see the balloons today. Rain is expected afternoon. That's good because there was no wind. So hopefully we can see it also tomorrow from another valley because it is really lovely. And this is Cappadocia. You can see the balloons didn't fly today. So if you are coming to Cappadocia, plan for a trip for at least three days, I say so you can get the chance to see the balloons if the wind is strong the balloons will not fly the balloons will only fly in the morning from uh, 5 a.m to 7 a.m you see this this is a real house people are living inside see the chimney here inside it and this is the window and the entrance is from there check out this those are the very chimneys, the houses where people used to live in the old times. Let's come inside. See, it's handcrafted. This one is with a view. Look how it is from one place to another. See? This is Goremi <coughs> And here is the center This is the bus station You can live the Cappadocian experience and rent those cars. This building is 450 years old and this business here, the carpets, is 70 years old. Check out this. All colors of carpets, every kind. It's nice and here it's open from above see how much carpets they have you can go inside <laughs> if you are a wine lover do not forget to visit the wineries in Cappadocia If you are an Asian food lover, you can find a lot in Cappadocia now. We will get this over here. Those are the ATVs, just ask about the price. It is 400 Turkish Lira for one hour. Two people can rent it. This is Gorema Charchi Bazaar. This is the tasty kebab. They are famous in Cappadocia and the ceramics. And pottery. If you need a supermarket while you are in Goreme, this is A101 or it's called Ayus Beer. It's just directly in the center. There is a viewpoint that you can see all Goreme from up above. Too many people go up there. It has entrance fees. So this is the viewpoint. You can stand up there, have some photos. This is the Rose Valley because of its color, especially at the sunset. A lot of people go there and make uh, tours 
with the bikes, the quads, and the horseback riding. This is the Pigeons Valley. See this? In all this valley, you can see here the pigeons are living there. And there. This is the evil eye tree. In Turkey, they believe very much in uh, the evil eye. Protect you from Nazar, they say in Turkey. We are, this is called Üç Güzeler. Three beauties means in English. It's a very nice viewpoint. And it indicates those three fairy chimneys with the stones on top of them. Millions of people come every year here. And here I am at the top now. This is Urgup facing me. You see here it's written Urgup. We are visiting yeah. here a church in the stone. It's called Ainali Church. Ainali Kilise. Symmetrical church. It's a church and a monastery. And there is also a hidden part down there. You can check. Here, where the Christians used to build the churches and hide before the exchange between Greece and Turkey. This is the main entrance. This is the entrance of the church. Here's the church from outside. It's all built in the stone, carved inside the stone. This is the entrance. Once you enter, you have to buy this. There is an entrance, 20 Turkish lira, and they will give you this light because inside. So, because inside there are no lights. So, here we go. I'm gonna turn on the light of the mobile and the light I have in my hand. They provide it for me. See the cross up. And here we go. This is me, I'm trying to pass <laughs> And here this room It is scary, if you are Phobic from closed spaces So this is not for you Come on, see upstairs Let us go up Just here Okay This is The upper part of the church there are some lights here, at least you can see. It's very chimneys there. And here, place for the pigeons. Do you see this? Look where it is. I'm standing. It's below my shoulder. So you can see here the distance from the ground. The distance from the ground to up here where they used to hide before so I'm going inside to see what's there but it is uh, where I can walk and it's really very tight here you find a room inside oh my god check out this oh here where they used to hide but really scary here there is an entrance I think that they can escape or something like this. Here another room. But no, it's so scary. I will not take it. Oh, let me see what's there inside. No, it's just a hidden space. So let me leave. Coming to Cappadocia and asking yourself in which area should I stay to see the balloons? Mainly Goremi and Cappadocia it's the main area where the balloons fly from or if you want to ride on a balloon you should be in Goreme also you can be in Urgup or in Uchhisar or there are 
other areas, but the most famous one and where the balloons fly from is Goreme. By the way, there is a big museum in Goreme if you would like to see it, but it's a bit expensive. Finally, do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment on our video. Thank you.